morning. It is the last day in Provo. I am ready to go home. Had about three, four hours of sleep last night. It's Jerry and I are on completely different schedules. So we are up and we're gonna go to breakfast. I know. Yes. Look at the guy. How you feeling, hon? Kind of cold. He's got the calm crud. totally learning out to be inside a cracker barrel. I've never been inside of one before. <laughs> that bad. Charles and Allie Trippy always got a cracker barrel. Sometimes they bring Melissa. Does this make me a dork, Kenny? That happened a long time ago. <laughs> so I got this little thing, but it comes with two of those and that. And oh, it's not focusing. There's a. Uh, or gravy and grits and Jerry, what did you get? Me. I got ham and uh, oh, it's not casserole, so uh, hash brown casserole and eggs and grits and sausage gravy <laughs> and fried apples <laughs> and biscuits. So many biscuits. This is the little store in the Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Is this one of the ones that you're gonna put on the site? Uh, I have to edit it up, I don't know yet. But this is right, so I wasn't here, I was here on this rock. So I have like a different side, I don't do that. It looks like a butt up there. I know, it's so funny that we have that photo. <laughs> Charnelli's vlog that I was like, oh, we gotta go to Cracker Barrel. It was good. It was good. The 
is extremely homey, which is great, and we had a good waitress too. We had excellent staff at the hotel. Yeah, the hotel, people at the hotel were great. Great, great people at the hotel. We ate pretty well here. It was fine food wise. Yeah. Low lights, um, politics. Let's see the next slide. People not being as friendly as maybe they should be because who knows? Sucking up? I don't know. And who knows? Clicks? I'd say clicks. Maybe I'll just call it clicks. Clicks, but definitely a little light. And um, just uh, being in such a tiered system, CVX, I think it represented kind of a lifestyle here where people are treated differently for what tier they're in in Provo. I don't know. I guess it's not the same in Salt Lake or, or oh, and going to church. That was a highlight. That church was nice. Um, but they definitely have a tiered system here where there's people of different classes and it was reflected at CVX Live. And that I did not appreciate. Won't be coming back, but um, another highlight was just hearing how much people had enjoyed Vlogger Fair over the years and hearing even big YouTubers say how much they liked Vlogger Fair. And so that is just a little hint to Elizabeth Bradshaw and Chris Perillo that we would love to have an event in Seattle with some warnings so that we can get folks out because they do love the event out here. They love the time together. That was great. It's quiet. That borderline and creepy for me. <laughs> I'm not used to that much quiet. Anyway. Be glad to be headed home. They've got great gifts for the kids, and I haven't shown you them. Oh my gosh, I'll have to show you the kids' gifts. Got really good gifts from the merch at uh, CVX Live, so I'm looking forward to that. Oh, look, Adobe. We know Adobe from Creator Advocate. They host that event. Daryl Eves. Daryl Eves' speech was really good. I could not consume all the information that he gave us, but it was really good. I've gotten a little interview with Charles that will be included in one of my base videos. So that's going to be fun. So it was a lot of things. <laughs> but now we're going home and I got to work tomorrow. Are you working tonight? Oh gosh, we're going to be tired. Oh.